Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and joining me for Bible study. Today, we are doing the book of Enoch, chapter 22. Let's get into it. I'm going to read the chapter first, then go over my notes. And thence I went to another place, and he showed me in the west another great and high mountain of hard rock. And there was in it four hollow places, deep and wide, and very smooth. How smooth are the hollow places, and deep and dark at, to look at? Then Raphael answered one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, These hollow places have been created for this very purpose that the spirits of the souls of the dead should assemble therein yea, that all the souls of the children of men should assemble here and these places have been made to receive them till their day of judgment until their appointed period till the period appointed till the great judgment comes upon them i saw the spirits of the children of men who were dead and their voice went forth to heaven and made suit then i asked raphael the angel who was with me and i said unto him this spirit, whose is it whose voice goeth forth and maketh suit? And he answered me, saying, This is the spirit which went forth from Abel, whom his brother Cain slew. And he makes his suit against him till his seed is destroyed from the face of the earth. And his seed is annihilated from amongst the seed of men. Sorry, y'all. Then I asked regarding it and regarding all the hollow places, why as one separated from the other? And he answered me and said unto me, These three have been made that the spirits of the dead might be separated. And such a division has been made for the spirits of the righteous, in which there as the bright spring of water, and such has been made for sinners when they die and are buried in the earth, and judgment has not been executed on them in their lifetime. Here their spirits shall be set apart in this great pain till the great day of judgment and punishment and torment of those who curse ever and retribution for their spirits. There he shall bind them forever. And such a division has been made for the spirits of those who made their suit, who make disclosures concerning their destruction. When they were slain in the days of sinners, such has been made for the spirits of men who were not righteous but sinners, who were complete in transgression, and of the transgressors. They shall be companions, but their spirits shall not be slain in the day of judgment, nor shall they be raised from thence. Then I blessed the Lord of glory and said, Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of righteousness, who ruleth forever. Y'all, this chapter was so long, so long. So, okay, in my notes, um, I have that Enoch was at a great mountain with high rock, four hollow, deep, dark places for the children of men's spirits of the souls of the dead to assemble until the day of the great judgment. Um, spirits of children who were dead speaking to heaven to make suit. Um, Enoch asks Raphael whose spirit goes forth making suit, and Raphael says it's Abel's spirit making a suit against Cain until his seed is no more, more amongst the seed of men. Enoch asks why the hollow places are separated, and Raphael answers three were made so the spirits of the dead would be separated. One for the righteous. Um, one for the sinners and the third for making suit concerning their death slash destruction during the day of the sinners. So this is interesting because there are so many like we're told when you go, you are judged and you go to either heaven or hell. That's the way a lot of people are looking at it and here we are reading that you don't you actually ascend to a different place and depending on where you fall you go you fall in where your category is and then the creator will come and judge everyone um and at the end of this chapter enoch blesses the lord for being righteous so 
that is chapter 22 and um And it also says that the transgressors, let me see. That um, made for those, for the making suit, it's made for those who were sinners, complete in transgression. And the transgressors, they shall be companions, but their spirits shall not be slain on the day of judgment nor shall they be raised so it also says that those who were sinners in the time of sin if they were wrong they will be able to make suit against those who wronged them however they will not be able to ascend because of their sin so because of their sin, they will not be raised or ascended up to the next level. And of course, we already know that for the sinners, but um, the righteous will ascend. So that is what this chapter is telling us. Once again, y'all know I don't know everything. Okay, I'm just learning with y'all. Be sure to catch me tomorrow for chapter 23. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.